so this harmonica's tuning can be a little bit better. You can see from the needle it's bouncing all over the place and the chords don't sound nice. So we're going to take the harmonica apart and we're going to use the tuning card to help us tune this harmonica. We're going to take the reed plates off the comb. Uh, you can use the comb to tune the harmonica if you can hold the reed plates on uh, and keep them perfectly airtight. Uh, and if you can't do that, you can always use the French tuner. So this is the tuning card. We're going to use it as a map and we're going to start on the landmark notes. We're going to be using the simplest and easiest tuning method here, which is tuning everything to zero. And we're going to use color to guide us. We're going to start on the yellow and we're going to tune uh, everything to zero. And the card's going to help me figure out where I am. This note is too sharp, so I'm going to lower it by taking some brass off the base of the reed. And here it's too flat. I went too far, so we're going to need to bring the pitch back up. No problem. I just line it up. Again, uh, we're working on the yellow note. And we're going to take some brass off the tip, so that will raise the pitch. So that's bang on. And then the blue is bang on. And then we're going to look at the green. Ah, now the green is a bit sharp. So always do yellow, green, blue, and you won't get lost. Yellow, green, uh, yellow, blue, green, rather. Uh, and now we're going to lower that uh, pitch so that it's zero on the tuner. So again, we took too much brass off, so I'm going to raise that note back up. One of the hard parts of tuning is not working against yourself and over overshooting the mark. I'm going to raise it a little bit more. Make sure you line up the correct notes on the tuning card. Don't get distracted. The tuning card will line up with all brands of harmonicas. Seidel have a different hole spacing, and this accumulate, accommodates for that. Here we're bang on. So now we've gone yellow, green, blue on our way down. So that hole three is pretty sharp as you can see. So we're going to lower that note. So tuning like this will not give you harmony with chords or splits octaves. Just the single notes will be in tune and this is it's, it's, uh, this is why the cheaper harmonicas on the market are tuned this way, because it's easier. It requires a lot less work than, than tuning for strong harmonies, major chords, etc. So there we go. We've got that note. <coughs> That's the blue, the third, and then the bottom tonic, hole one, is still a bit sharp. So it always goes yellow matching yellow, blue matching blue, green matching green. That's pretty good. So follow yellow Blue, green, yellow. So we're on the seven hole here. We're on the, the tonic of the upper octave. Let's 
that's pretty good. And then blue, blue, green, green is sharp. you figure the tuning card helps you figure out which note you need to adjust compared to which note you've just played that's pretty good oh and that top yellow that top yellow is very sharp so again the reed support tool and take some brass off the base I'm not pressing very hard with the file. That's close enough, I think. So you can hear the chords are rough. And single notes sound fine. So we can make this a little bit better. The second level is to make the octaves sound right. Because you might not play chords, but you might play octaves. So there's an octave that doesn't sound good. So yellow, blue, green, yellow, blue, green. So I'm playing both notes together, and that's how you get an idea. That's how you get a little bit more accuracy. Now I'm using dynamic breath force. And we notice the beating does not go away as I increase my force. So therefore, I can either raise the bottom note or lower the top note. And in this case, we're going to raise the bottom note just a hair. There you go. Sounds much better. There's an octave that doesn't sound good. You hear the beating. So when the tuner tells you both notes are the same, you use dynamic breath force. But here we could see that that top note is a little bit sharp. So we're going to lower it so that they both have the same value on the tuner. So there you go. So we're going to use dynamic breath force. And as I increase, it doesn't help, so we can either raise the top note, uh, raise the bottom note, or lower the, 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 the higher note. So we lower it some more. Dynamic breath force is more accurate than a tuner. So there you go, that's fine. So we've just tuned the octaves. We've just tuned the octaves. Now we can go a step further and tune some chords to perfect harmony. So I'm doing the same process. I'm playing one note together with another note and looking for that harmony. So we always start with the landmark. When we're working on chords, there's landmark notes that are easier to hit accurately. yellow to be at zero, and the third to be at around minus 13. And then you use dynamic breath force to, to get the harmony. So the numbers on the tuner aren't going to help you get the chord there. That's a nice solid interval. And we're doing the third and the fifth, the blue and the green. And that's a bit rough. tonic, third, fifth. And now we're going to play the fifth with the tonic. We've played the 
the fifth with the, the, the third, and it's a bit rough. Let's play the fifth with the tonic and see what happens. I'm muting the, the third. So played together, those notes sound fine. You can also do this with the French tuner. That'll help you isolate tonic and fifth. So that fifth is just fine. So now we're going to make a copy of the landmark notes on the bottom octave. So that's a nice strong chord. So it gets harder as you move down. We work our way down and uh, I need to scrutinize each note a little bit more. So I'm going to do green to green and then I'm going to compare yellow to green and then green back to yellow. Go back and forth. Yellow to green, green to yellow. Each time hitting it with a little bit different breath and I want to see how that holds up if it's in harmony. Pretty close, so we're going to go with the fifth, the blue. So we can, we can hear that octave doesn't work, and we see on the tuner that it's too sharp. So we're going to lower that to minus 13. And then we're going to do octave, yellow to yellow. That was in tune. So we have a nice strong chord on the bottom. Now we're going to move to the draw plate. The draw plate, uh, you have to turn the harmonica around. So the tuning card has the notes upside down for you to, to work on them. Notice that there are more colors than yellow, blue, and green. Uh, there's the purple and there's gray. Uh, we're still going to start with the landmark notes. We want harmony. Uh, so we're going to tune tonic, third, and fifth. Yellow, blue, and green. So that green is very sharp. That's a problem, and that's making our chord sound rough. Take some brass off the bottom to lower the pitch. Now, as a chord, that sounds very harmonious. As well. The one four octave draw. So our strong chord on the draw plate is the one, two, three, four. If you want pure just intonation, you're going to include the five as well. And you can tune that down to minus 32. But what we're going to do now is tune everything to, to just uh, to equal temperament and make sure the octaves are nice and strong. So here's that chord, adding the 5 draw. Now we're not going to tune this to just intonation. We're going to leave it as it is. So now we've done the green octave, the, th the fifths. There is no yellow octave, there's only one yellow note. So the next note is that green octave. We're going to do the blue the thirds, okay? Now the octaves on the draw plate are a wider spacing, you'll feel with your tongue, it's three holes, okay? So here's the third, we'll just get this octave nice and clean. So that note could come up.
And here we're lining it up with the tuning card and that helps us find which note to adjust. Good. I'm happy with that. What's the next octave? The green. We've done the green 1 4, and now we'll do the 4 8 interval on the higher end. Sounds good. I'll accept that. Now the purple, and then we'll do the gray. So again, we don't really need this to be in a minus 32. So that's in tune. And now finally, the 610, the gray notes, the gray colored, rather, on the tuning card. Well, that seems a bit sharp, and you can hear it. There you go. So we have great chords and intervals using the tuning card.